Welcome to Ship Design Tutorial Part 3. The game will of course get a very detailed step-by-step in-game tutorial as soon as it's feature complete. In the meantime I included in addition to these videos an in-game help file you can view by pressing F1 so that you don't have to memorize everything I'm telling you here. The game has undergone some major performance improvements and I have unlocked the 5 deck fuselage Yantai Ares Max. If you're still experiencing performance issues, please let me know, there's still room for improvement. The power and cooling grid system has improved a lot. When uh, building a generator or cooling unit, you select the grid number you want it to belong to for the generator as well as every room you want to connect it to. Standard is one. You can either build different circuits this way or, most importantly, connect generators into a kind of battery arrangement. You can also use these buttons to quickly select the entire power or cooling grid. I also added a ruler to help you quickly create long and straight lines. Simply press the X or Y key while drawing with the power line tool. You can hold and drag the left mouse button now to move rooms and also use the delete key to remove rooms. If you want to undo the recent placement, movement or delete action, press the U key. There are some new construction goals now. Ship speed, maneuverability and mass. Increase the ship speed by building several engine rooms and its maneuverability by building thrusters. As you can see, the rooms and the construction menu have a color coding now to improve overview. Rooms are also marked with a red border when there is no hatch attached to it and they are colored green if a corridor is not baked or a room is not sealed by an outer hatch. I also moved air tank, water tank and fuel tank into storage where they belong much better. The mission menu shows your design rating and its details. If you are satisfied with the results and there are no critical error messages left, export your design into a ship class and try out crew management. I temporarily removed the deck connections for power and cooling, but I will put it back in as soon as the new power grid system is stable. Check out the next tutorial to see how you can manage your ship and crew for a standard operation.